Hey, what's up, everybody? So, I wanted to give an update on uh, the Phobos Grunt mission. It's been stuck in orbit for about two weeks now. It was launched on November 8th by the Russians on a Zenit rocket, and it was supposed to do two separate burns, one to take it a little bit higher up into the atmosphere, and then a second burn to escape Earth's gravity and uh, go on its journey to Mars. Neither one of those happened. They've been unable to communicate with the spacecraft this entire time, and they started getting pretty frantic, so started hitting up their neighbors to try to help them. And so they went to the European Space Agency, which has network tracking stations all over the world to communicate with spacecraft. And uh, luckily, today, they were able to reestablish contact with the spacecraft. Unfortunately, it's about two days late for the original mission. The original mission called for uh, a launch window somewhere between November 1st and November 21st, which was on Monday. Today is Wednesday, the 23rd, so they've missed that launch window. However, now that they've reestablished contact, that doesn't mean that the mission is a complete failure. Even though the launch window has closed, there are still a few possibilities for what the Phobos Grunt mission could accomplish. For one, it could go to the moon, and the Chinese orbiter could orbit around the moon and possibly return some cool data. However, the lander, I don't think, would be able to survive the moon's gravity um, and survive a landing, and the return capsule definitely doesn't have enough propulsion to escape the moon's gravity and return back to Earth. However, uh, the Phobos mission could also go to a near-Earth asteroid and could return a soil sample from any number of those and return all sorts of great data and uh, it could be useful not only to us but also to the, the Russians and the Chinese in the future. However, there is still a possibility that Phobos could still go to Mars and accomplish all of its objectives just on a little bit later time scale. The whole thing with this launch window is uh, we, we only send probes to Mars when it would take the, less, the least amount of delta V and the least amount of fuel possible to keep the mission as cheap as possible. And that occurs in these launch windows where the Earth and Mars are somewhat close by each other um, in compared to the rest of the time during their orbits around the sun. So the whole thing with the launch window is to be able to send the Phobos mission to Mars with the least amount of delta V possible and then get it to orbit their moon Phobos and collect the soil sample and return it within the same launch window back to Earth to return um, I believe the timetable they were looking at was 2014 would be when uh, the, the capsule would return and it would launch in 2013 and the capsule would arrive. Uh, I mean, the lander would arrive in 2012. Now, uh, since the, this original launch window has closed, they could still go on to Mars. However, um, they would just have to wait until a new launch window opened to send the capsule back to Earth. Otherwise, the capsule might not be able to make it. Um, so the, all that would mean is that um, they would just be able to go and accomplish everything up to the point of sending the capsule back and then send it back in the launch window to return back to Earth in 2016. So it would just be two years later than what they originally planned, but they still could possibly accomplish all their objectives. So it's not a complete waste. And uh, thankfully, Phobos Grunt isn't going to re-enter the atmosphere and uh, you know to cause massive damage. At least hopefully. Yeah, they have reestablished contact, but that's about it. Maybe I'm being a little bit too hopeful and a little bit too uh, uh, enthusiastic at this point. But uh, since they have reestablished control, I'm, I, I'd, I'd like to say I'm confident that they'll be able to regain the control of the spacecraft, get the burns to happen, and, and uh, accomplish one of these uh, sort of mission objectives. So congratulations, Russia. And uh, as promised on my next episode, I'm going to talk about uh, the satellite resurfacing, and then I'm going to do another Ask Mike. So uh, I'll see you guys later. Also, please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe.